Okay, it's been quite a day. Uh, where, where can I start? Tomorrow, Tuesday morning, the legislature behind me will once again open. And there is a crisis all around the world. The coronavirus uh, is in New Brunswick. And then I heard somebody send me a post. There's uh, three cases in front of 10 in the company. I never pushed it because you're gonna see more cases and more cases. Myself, I always said, during a crisis, that's when the true personality of humans comes out. And I believe that we're seeing the true personality here in Fredericton. This morning, what happened to me at the, at the Fredericton soup kitchen is disgusting. To look at me with hate when I said, do you want to do an interview of what you're doing? They're serving meals at the door. The guy looks at me, no. Uh, can I take a picture of the styrofoam uh, trays? No. Hate. I was met by hate. Like, I'm just a welfare bum. Get out of here. Okay, no problem. I'll never talk to that guy again. There's nothing. One thing about me, you don't degrade me in front of four or five people. Anyway, idiot. Not an idiot. That's the mayor. But during the crisis, I don't know. There's some, a lot of poor people are going to die because we can't get no answers. And this morning, maybe all I'm doing is want to educate the public, educate myself on what's going on. <clears throat> like, a person gets a corona virus, how is he supposed, he or she, supposed to stock up on four weeks of food? We got no money. Like David Kuhn said, sardines. But, you know, I mean, he's just being sarcastic. When he mentioned that, I went and bought myself some sardine the next day. But it's during a crisis that the true, like I said, the true human face comes out evil or good and this building behind me the crisis of 2008 when the floods of the river was going way up all the little media was focusing on the river the people had their sandbags everybody was focusing on the river the MLAs the building behind me, the electricity went out. And all the MLA stayed inside. Mike Murphy, you know that guy, Mikey. The guy you see the billboard, insurance, and all that. Mike, Mur <laughs> Mike Murphy introduced the third, the third reading of a $6 million raise in their pension. They voted themselves a six million dollar raid. While the New Brunswickers and media were looking at the river, they were looking in their deep pocket. And after me, with lobbying with David Howard, they lower the pension. But during the crisis, that's where the dirty deeds of the government goes unnoticed. Now this time around, 11 years later, well, things are gonna get better. David Kuhn is there. So I presume David Kuhn will watch on what's going on. Speaking of dirty, like, you need communication during a crisis. In Fredericton, the high Mickey Mucks do not communicate with the less fortunate. Only if they have to, if they uh, have an event or something. A fine example was I found out that the justice system, the courts, they won't allow nobody to watch the sessions. I said, what? Oh my God, I was gonna come out with a big warning. If a cop from the Fredericton Police Force arrests you on the street, scream, holler, do anything, because they will grab you. Then they'll bring you in court. Nobody will be allowed to watch the proceeding. No Irving media, no nothing. 
and then they'll put you in jail for about a year and nobody will know what happened. But I made my contact. And through my contact, they said, no, there will be no trial, no new arrest. Maybe, I mean, maybe there'll be some arrests, but the only people they'll go in court is the people that are sentenced. Even that, that bothers me. Because nobody be allowed to watch to see what's gonna be the sentence. But anyway, but it's not true. They're not gonna start arresting people, but I was ready to go against the minister and ask questions and everything, but then I made my contact and it's called communication. Co la communication. La communication. Et quand que tu la communication, there, no problem. But during the crisis, that's where the true colors are. And unfortunately, there's evil colors that's gonna come out. How, you're gonna have a guy or a woman, mental issues, catches the coronavirus, knows they have it, <clears throat> they're coughing and everything. They'll go in the malls and start ro roaming around. And next thing you know, they'll tell that person, stay home. How do you stay home? How do you force a person <coughs> to stay in a rooming house? In a rooming house where there's other 20 other people, 20 other rumors. How do you do it? There is no plan. No communication of how the less fortunate are going to be treated. Like me tonight, I walk up today, I walk about 10 miles. I got home, I got a running nose. Running nose, oh my God, Corona! Of course, I better watch what I say because <laughs> they will quarantine, quarantine me for about six months. And <laughs> don't worry, they'll, they'll put me in a hospital somewhere. But. The bottom line here, we gotta watch the government. That's where they're gonna come out with their dirty deeds. We gotta watch them very, very carefully. As for the poor, like I said, I hate to repeat myself, but what happened to me at the Fredericton Community Kitchen? <laughs> Community Kitchen, big deal. Uh, that was disgusting, and we don't know what's going on and they don't want to talk to us, but there's no communication. So during the crisis, if you only communicate with the snobs and with the bureaucrats among each other, conference call, and not go on the street and start communicating with other people, Fredericton, get ready, because il va pas faire beau dans la cabane.